Hey Leo, welcome to Shared Sentience and thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be uh, your general weekly reading. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff's going to be addressed within the description box down below, as well as Instagram, or as well as information for my Instagram and Twitter if you guys want to follow me on those platforms, okay? So we're going to jump right on into this here. I'm going to do a past, present, future spread, and I'm going to uh, do an overall energy, and I'm going to clarify everything, okay? So what's going on here for Leo in the recent past? What's going on here for Leo in the recent past? Okay, a little bit of discomfort. All right, I'm going to show you guys um, these cards as I go over them. Okay, what's going on currently? Current energy here for Leo, please. Okay. Hmm. So many of you guys have a decision to make. All right, what's going on? Okay. All right, future. Some of you guys may have a Scorpio or a Capricorn coming your way. All right, they just got out of something. Okay. Interesting. All right, so I feel like you guys are moving out of a somewhat cold energy. Uh, your overall energy is uh, the Seven of Wands, all right? Uh, so some of you guys might have Mars and Leo, but I do feel like, like I said, you're defeating something. Um, you're reaching a new level here. I also feel like there's something, there's an energy of not looking back. There's an energy of not turning back. Uh, currently, in the current situation, one of the cards you have is the Eight of Wands. So I feel like something's changing here. Something is shifting. So you move from that Seven to the Eight. So if you guys are in an uncomfortable space of trying to analyze things, trying to figure something out, I think you're going to figure it out here. The Eight of Wands is movement, so I feel like there's something that you're trying to get through here. You're trying to push through something, all right? And I feel like you're going to. I feel like things are going to start moving if they've not been moving as well. All right, so showing up in the past, we do have the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Judgment card, okay? So not necessarily the best energy to be in, right? Um... So we've got Taurus. Some of you guys might have Mercury in Taurus or your Moon in Cancer, okay, with that Four of Cups showing up. We also have Scorpio in Aries with the Judgment card. It's Pluto, okay? So we have a Page of Pentacles and um, Temperance as well. So Earth and Sag, all right? So I feel like there's a different perspective coming in here. I don't feel like it's yours, though. I feel like there's someone coming in to help you. With that Five of Pentacles, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a financial burden here. Um, Golden Dawn designers do refer to this as Lord of Material Trouble. So it could be... I but I, a financial burden, all right? Um, but it doesn't have to be. This could be, you know, just that you're in a broken place, okay? Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, um, whatever it is here. Someone's coming in to help, all right? Someone is coming in to change your perspective. Four of Cups, I feel like you know you're in a rut here in the past. Um, so that's what I feel is happening. You kind of have um, gotten yourself into a hole here. Like I said, this could be in any, any area of your life, all right? Um... Now, this could be guides, angels, ancestors with the judgment card showing up that are coming in to offer some kind of new perspective or open some kind of new door. Um, it could also be an awakening here. It's uh, kundalini energy with that. So I feel like there could be something that's shifting here um, and some kind of some kind of habit that you're breaking for a lot of you guys, okay? Some kind of cycle that you're breaking, karmic cycle of some sort, page of pentacles. You're, you're coming out of the water here. You're coming out refreshed is how that feels. You have temperance. That's a card of healing, okay? Uh, Sag energy. So we are going to clarify these and see what's going on with it. What's up with this here? What is up with this here? For my Leo people in the recent past. Five of Pentacles. Clarify this Five of Pentacles for me, please. Strength. <laughs> there you are. So I feel like there's someone coming in to work with you. Like I said, um, there's someone coming in to help you get back up on your feet here in the recent past. What's going on with this Four of Cups? Justice. Uh, so it could be Libra for some of you guys. Uh, but I do feel like things are being made right. You do have the Judgment card showing up here as well. So uh, maybe you guys were in this energy because of your dealings with a person. And maybe that same person comes back in to kind of right their wrongs here. Um, what's going on with Judgment? For some of you, for others of you, I just see things leveling out because you're getting some kind of help. And like I said, you have the Two of Swords showing up to clarify that. This could just be for from, you know, God, Source, Spirit, Universe. Maybe you guys might have your Moon in Libra, okay? But that's showing up to clarify judgment. So I feel like, you know, um, overall, this is... this. 
is your decision, okay? So whether you got help from someone or not, I feel like you guys uh, chose to act on something. You guys were the ones who chose to move on whatever opportunities were available. Some of you guys might be crediting someone else, and while that's fine, some of you guys might be... Um, I don't necessarily want to call it giving up your power, but some of you guys aren't realizing how powerful you are because you're crediting other people for your changes and your healing, okay? Now we got the Two of Cups showing up to clarify that Page of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, there's a, there's a new person that showed up here. It could be a Sag. What's going on with Temperance? Page of Wands, okay, Fire. All right, so there's some kind of news that came in here. For some of you guys, it's not so great news, okay? Um, that's showing up to clarify temperance here, though. So give me a second. I want this page of wands. Okay, some of you guys, it's news of movement, okay? Uh, news of movement. You got the chariot showing up currently. Uh, so I feel like for some of you guys, it's, it's news that you have to move. It's news that, you know, if you want an opportunity, you, you might have to move. So you do have the two of swords and the two of cups here, so... Two decisions. You got the Two of Swords showing up currently, and the Two of Pentacles. So that's that could involve work or school. For some of you guys, someone else had to move. Okay. Temperance can be a card of higher learning as well. Uh, so that that could definitely be what this is for a lot of you. But for others of you, it is higher learning in the sense that you know temperance can also be angelic guidance. So I feel like for some of you guys, there could be some kind of harsh truth coming in here that's telling you you need to move forward from something, okay? Others of you, you're being asked to credit yourself, okay? To give yourself credit, okay? To understand that regardless of what help you've had, you've been in the driver's seat the whole time, okay? So what's going on? Like I said, you have the Two of Swords showing up, uh, Libra. You got the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn. You get the Five of Cups, Scorpio, and the uh, Eight of Wands, uh, Sag. So what's going on here with this? High Priestess. Okay. Got that Four of Cups showing up again, you guys. Uh, so, I'm, I'm getting the sense that you're repeating something here. Okay, yeah, definitely. For sure, that Two of Pentacles is in the middle. And that is, um, you know, there's this infinity symbol here on the card um, with what he's juggling here. So, I feel like there's something that you are repeating. Some of you guys, you've just not credited yourself enough. That's That keeps coming through very strongly. You're not giving yourself enough credit. Uh, so, you're being put in a situation, I feel, where you are having to rely on only you. Okay, so... Yeah, that's tough, okay? Um, clarifying the chariot, you have the high priestess. Some of you guys, this is like an energy of being blindfolded. Uh, you got the two of swords there. So I feel like you guys are having to rely on your gut, your inner knowing, um, your truth in order to move you forward. Those sphinxes there, uh, nothing external is, you know, steering you. You know, nothing external is um, in that driver's seat is what I feel like saying here. The high priestess, it's you relying on your truth in order to move forward, okay? Um, relying on only what you know. For some of you guys, you could have been waiting on closure from a person. Uh, been waiting on someone to reveal their feelings or something like that. I've uh, been waiting to move to a next level with a seven of, yeah, for some of you, that's definitely what it is. Because you got the page of wands underneath that. Then you have this five of wands energy, this conflict, this restriction, these, um, you know, this energy of being hit with obstacles. Then you got the three of wands underneath that. So I feel like, you know, you are sending something away here or you're going away here. Whatever is going on, um, I feel like a lot of you, there's an energy of doing it alone. Okay. For some of you guys, it's because you're, you've not credited yourself enough for uh, what, you've, what you've had help with, okay? Um, so it's interesting how that is coming through. That is just a strange, strange message, okay? Two of Swords, yeah, again, that is, like I said, an energy of being blindfolded, having to rely on, you know, what you know, what your truth is, all right? So, for example, like I said, if you guys are waiting on clarity, it's most likely that you know the truth, okay? Okay. Um, you know, people do not, with the page of wands showing up twice, lots of wands showing up actually, um, I do feel the sen get the sense that somebody already showed you the truth. The seven of pentacles, that is an energy of um, analyzing something, all right, looking at an investment. I feel like for some of you guys, you're looking back on an investment and you're not really focused on the pinnacle at your foot. I feel like uh, other opportunities are available to you, but maybe you're not moving on them, okay, um, because you could be looking back, um, 
on something that is still stuck. Okay, you could be looking over. I'm just getting this energy of looking over it. Like, well, what about this? Everything's falling into place, but what about this? What about that? It's still stuck there at that one chapter, at that one, you know, whatever, that one message, that one you know, instance, right? That's what that feels like to me with that two of swords. It's like, what about that? What happened there? What was the point in that? You know, um, will that ever go anywhere? Right? Uh, so that's what I feel you in with the seven of pentacles and the two of swords. And with that blindfold on, you know the truth. Okay. You know what happened there. All right. It's a matter of accepting it in full, whatever that means to you. But the high priestess, you guys know the truth. Your intuition knows the truth and you knew the truth the whole time. Okay. Two of Pentacles, clarifying that is the Four of Wands, okay? Um, so like I said, there's some kind of new beginning here that's available to you. Um, it's a matter of choosing it, okay? For a lot of you, I feel like you have manifested this. For others of you, like I said, it's something tricky here uh, where you're being asked to take responsibility and accountability and credit, okay? Just keep getting a major energy of credit, all right? Uh, with that, uh, four, fours are kind of an energy of... Um, like nose on the grindstone, right? That's what I feel is happening here. And that two of pentacles, that's a balancing act. It's it's tricky, all right? I feel like you guys are having to just use what you have um, on hand is the way that I'm getting that there in order to make something amazing happen, okay? I feel like you're hitting a lot of obstacles. You've got two fives here. So the clarifying this five of cups is the five of wands, all right? So like I said, you're being hit with a lot, all right? And it just is what it is because I feel like you are getting through it you know you got the eight of wands clarifying that's the four of cups so i feel like it's all about how you look at things you know with the four of cups being there that is somebody who is not really satisfied with the offers they're getting it's somebody who uh, is staying comfortable so for some of you guys it's about it's about your perspective all right uh that's all i can say here because i feel like some of you guys are still staying there there is a lot of energy of just staying where you are you've got two two of swords cards which is a stuck energy okay you've got two Four of Cups, which is a stuck energy. You've got the High Priestess, which I love it, but it is a stuck energy. You know the truth. What are you doing with it, you know? Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of that going on here. Um, so, while I feel like you guys have healed, um, I feel like you don't want to open up to anything new. Um, so that's the problem. I feel like you guys could be blocking out new things, new opportunities. Like I said, with that seven of pentacles, there's a pentacle resting at his foot there. He's not really looking at it. You know, four of cups. He's not really looking at it. He's like, nope, I'm staying safe. I've healed. There's nothing new that's going to hurt me. Okay. But there's nothing new that's going to hurt you. And there's also nothing new at all. Okay. So I feel like that is what you need to move out of here. That's what you need to shift with that four or excuse me with that, um, uh, eight of Wands, that's the perspective that needs shifting here. All right, because with that Four of Wands that was showing up, I feel like this is available to you, and I feel like for a lot of you, you've manifested this, and it's just all a matter of choosing it, okay? Now, showing up in the future, you do have the world, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. So we have Fixed Energy, more specifically Scorpio, and then we have Capricorn. Um, and then we also have the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Someone else had the Knight of Cups show up in their last future card. Um, so that's interesting to me. What is going on with these? You got the Queen right here on the bottom, Cancerian Energy. So yeah, this could definitely involve a person. Um, yeah, this could be about stepping into a space where you are coming into alignment with your perfect match because you do have the world. That is stepping into a brand new world, brand new life, brand new cycle. Um, it's that shift. It's that brand new way of seeing things. And then you've got that King of Cups energy. And then we had the Queen on the bottom. So that's where that is. You don't take the leap of faith on something new. You're never going to have that, right? That's what I feel like saying to you guys here. I know that. I know that bothered someone, but that it is what it is. All right. So what's going on here with this energy? The world. Okay. Yep. That's what you need to step out of for sure. Okay. Wow. All right. Temperance is the overall energy for the remainder of the reading. So this is true healing. This is true moving forward. Some of you guys might have a Sag in your chart. Getting North Node. Some of you guys might be a Sag North Node. Okay. Um, so clarifying this world card is the Five of Cups. Okay. So like I said, this is the energy that you guys need to move out of. Okay. Um, because I feel like some of you guys could be in a space where you're wondering why you're going at it alone. And you're wondering how you are going to get through something by yourself. And um, I just feel as if you need to understand that that's the lesson. Okay? Um, you know, some of you guys might be feeling like the universe is beating up on you. It's Saturn. You know, the world is um, a Saturn card. And Saturn is kind of like 
strict daddy energy, right? It's asking you to take accountability. Saturn is responsibility. It's um, restrictions. It's boundaries. It's limitations. Um, so it's asking you to kind of take the wheel, all right? Um, or at least recognize that you've had the wheel the whole time. For some of you guys, this is taking accountability for not seeing the truth, or excuse me, you saw the truth, but it's taking accountability for not accepting truth. Uh, that's what's going to bring you closure for a lot of you guys. Um, you know, is saying to myself, like, maybe I knew the truth the whole time. Um, and that's going to allow you to step back into the driver's seat there of that chariot, you know. So it's all a matter of stepping out of this energy, shifting your perspective. King of Cups, that's what's going to put you in this King of Cups energy, okay. Uh, strong, dependent, reliable. Um, I feel like, you know, instead of being in this space where uh, you feel like you need help from others, uh, you're going to be in a space where you can give help to others. Queen of Pentacles, she's resourceful. So like I said, you guys are being asked. To use what you have here um, in order to step into this king of cups energy um, because like i said you guys know the truth of the situation i just keep getting that um, message very strongly you know the truth you know the truth it's not outside of you it's in you okay then you have the queen of pentacles showing up again clarifying that as the emperor so like i said it's going to put you back in a place of power okay um it's going to put you in a space where your logic your emotion you're in complete balance here that's what this feels like like i said you've got a lot of twos while twos are decisions twos are also balanced twos are supreme feminine energy so i feel like you guys are in a place where you know nothing can really touch you all right um so that's what i feel is happening here and uh clarifying this uh, ace of cups you do have the nine of wands so that's persistent that's wounded warrior uh kind of energy here so that is getting through something and i also feel as if this is giving yourself clarity i feel like it's cleansing Okay, um, and again, with that world card showing up, I feel like it's a brand new world. It's a brand new life here um, as you wrap something up, all right, um, as you see the lesson in something, all right, and as you give yourself credit, um, especially considering what you've gone through here, all right, because uh, I definitely feel like you guys have been through, through the ringer in a situation, all right, so you got the Knight of Cups here, being gentle with yourself, being kind with yourself, giving yourself credit. Also, with that Ten of Wands following that, you know, that's not only for giving yourself credit for what you've gone through. It's giving yourself credit um, for all that you've carried here. Uh, it's following your inclinations, giving yourself credit for that, all right? Knight of Cups is also a dreamer. He's a visionary. So I do feel like this is turning water into wine as you make some kind of decision here to follow the path that you're being asked to follow here. That you're being... With a lover's card showing up, to me, sometimes that can represent angels, angelic guidance as well. All right, so you've got a lot of cards here of that. You've got a lot of cards here with angels on them. You know what I mean? So just, you know, make no mistake here. Like, you guys are being guided through all of this. Some of you guys may not feel like you're being carried, but you are. But you're still being asked to give yourself credit for this, all right? Um, so that's what I'm feeling here. You know, moving on something that you really want, uh, but at the same time, you're also scared of. It's going to bring about a major turning point here. It could involve a Gemini. You guys can have Gemini in your chart. Um, and it could just involve love. All right. Um, but yeah, I feel, I feel this energy of wrapping something up here, following some kind of dream as well. Uh, just taking a leap of faith, you know. So I like it a lot. Um, so don't be too hard on yourself. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. Um, I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me and you all have a great week. Bye.